really happy to be here at MBAA. This year we have a lot of new innovations and products we're bringing to market. So we've got a whole handful of new composite STCs from the Yukon that we've done with Whip Air to uh, the King Air with our friends at Blackhawk to some STCs we've done ourselves with the Talon on the GB1 Gamebird. And we're continuing to invest in our carbon fiber technology. So we're also working with Cub Crafters on their Carbon Cub UL. We have a new, what we call Falcon Retention Series, which is a three blade all carbon fiber propeller for under 20 pounds, which has really been a game changer for performance on that airframe. And we're really excited to be partnering with Cub Crafters on that, as well as rolling that out uh, to a much broader community of aircrafts and platforms that are utilizing the Rotax 915, 916 engine series. So really excited to be, to be rolling that out and talking about it this week. On the business development side, we've been uh, the last year and a half or so really investing in bringing under direct ownership some propeller MRO facilities across the US and Canada and now the UK. And what we're trying to do is really get better access to our customers and stay close to the market. Uh, we really want to make sure we're taking care of our product all the way from the design and certification through the production, but certainly through the service life cycle as well. So this really gives us an opportunity to stay close to our customers, offer some really unique programs like flat rate overhauls uh, for fleet operators and folks that are looking for that predictable type of cost when they get into the propeller overhaul. So excited to be investing in that channel. Again, it gives us really great access to the end users and customers um, who are obviously our key market. And we're obviously staying close with our OEM partners as they're bringing new products to market as well. When we think about product development, it really goes down a couple vectors. The first is partnering at the upstream level with the OEM, whether that is a turboprop manufacturer or a piston manufacturer or somebody utilizing the Rotax series on the engine side, like I mentioned with the Carbon Cub UL. We really partner at that upstream level to make sure we're type designing the propeller to meet the needs and the mission of the airplane. And matching that with the engine is really critical to that. So we can design and tune the propeller blade geometry, um, the airfoil shape, um, to really maximize the performance of the aircraft. That's been one of our keys to success for many decades is investing in our engineering team to be able to have that design capability. When we think about the aftermarket and we think about product development for existing platforms, that's where we really get into our top prop program, which is new propellers on existing airplanes. So one of the big things we've been doing the past several years is you know, looking at some of the big fleets like the Cessna 185, 180, 206, fleet and we've brought to market the metal Voyager as we call it, it's a three blade metal prop that outperforms anything else and then we've just complemented that with a carbon Voyager this past year. So the question around you know the carbon Voyager versus the metal Voyager. So with metal you're obviously going to have a little bit higher weight um, but you know you're also going to get that trusted performance um, you know, you're going to be able to overhaul that propeller several times, go through that process, um, and you're going to get a tried and true technology that really has been the anchor of our product portfolio for a long time. On the carbon fiber side, you're going to get all the advantages of the airfoil shape, but you're also going to get a lighter weight. So typically about a 15 to 20 pound savings between a metal three blade and a carbon fiber three blade. You're also going to get a smoother ride just because the carbon fiber does a little bit better of damping um, the vibration through the propeller and engine. And then, you know, you're going to get that kind of cool factor of the latest and greatest technology of, of carbon fiber. So in the case of the Voyager, you're getting the same performance because the airfoil is essentially the same shape, but you're getting a, a couple of added benefits when you step up to the carbon fiber. Previous to the acquisition by Cygnia, we were Hartzell Aviation, and Hartzell Aviation still exists. It's part of the Cygnia Aerospace Group now. And so, you know, at the Hartzell propeller side, we've got great propeller technology and governor technology for the propeller and engine system. Uh, with our sister companies at Hartzell Aviation, you've got great access to engine accessories, whether that's starters, alternators, magnetos, all those sorts of things that come from the Hartzell engine tech. And Hartzell Aerospace Welding does engine mounts and exhaust stacks. And then you've got the broader Signia portfolio where we have Ace Thermal, which is a thermal management company. And we have Cleveland Wheel and Brake, a sister company we just picked up in Ohio in the last year. So you've got this great way to surround the customer and end user in general aviation with all these terrific products under the Signia banner. And we still stand for quality performance and support. And that's what you get when you think about the broader Signia portfolio. 
So we think it's a great way to complement what we were already doing and now being part of a larger Signia Aerospace is uh, exciting because it allows us to, to touch more customers and more GA pilots um, with more of their aircraft and product needs. Thank you.